Welcome back to the guided exercise. Now we're going to execute a series of commands to see what kind of hardware we have on our hands. Uh, we're going to start by running lab viewing physical start command. This will prepare our system to execute the guided exercise. It will complete very, very quickly. We start by doing SSH into server A because we're going to fetch the information from this system and we're supposed to capture the DMESC output. So if you run DMESC, it will just show you show itself on the screen, but we're, we're supposed to create a hardware profile. So we're going to run DMESC redirect into hwprofile.txt file. So in my second console, I have this file here with some comments recorded. So we're supposed to collect information about our system. So first of all, we're supposed to capture the CPU information. So we need to run lscpu. As you can see, it produces a lot of output. And we're supposed to record the model name. So we're going to find the model name line, and we're going to put it in our file, in our hardware profile file. Then what else we're supposed to do is we're supposed to capture the uh, cache sizes. This information is stored pretty much to the bottom of the output, L1D cache, L1I cache, L2, and L3. So we can basically grab those file lines and put them in our file. Then we're supposed to run the DMID code. Now, word of, uh, word of advice. When you run DMID code as a regular user, when you try to run it as a regular user, it will give you permission denied. So here's an example invocation, DMID code, and it will tell us that we can't open the sys firmware DMI table SMBIOS entry point and pretty much all the, all the, all this, all the sys DMID code related files are readable only by root user. So we need to run sudo DMID code or become, su become root and then run the, the tool. It possibly contains sensitive information, so it's good for, for so it should be visible only to uh, privileged users. So if we run a sudo DMID code, we can see that, for instance, the information we're looking for, the BIOS revision that can be found over there, it's uh, 0, 0.0, that's, that's the BIOS version. Um, what else is there? We were supposed to capture the LSUSB output, so if we run LSUSB, it will show us the USB devices. Um, there are only two of them. These are the commands. These are the, these are the devices. We capture them in our file. In the next step, we're supposed to record the uh, PCI devices. So we're on LSPCI. Here's the output. All the all the PCI devices are as visible by the operating system. Um, we get that. We put it in our in our capture file. And then we're going to run lshw. This time we're not capturing the output in the file. We're going to run lshw minus c disk. This is the output, as you can see. There you go. lshw minus c disk. That's a, uh, these are the disks which are connected. They have VDA, they have VDB, they have VDC, and they have VDD. So this system has four hard disks. And you can you see that we have virtual device indicator that they are, these are virtual devices, their configuration, logical sector side, size, physical sector size, and so on. Then we're supposed to check the memory information as fetched by the LSHW. So here's the invocation, sudo LSHW minus C memory. And you can see that there's a firmware section, memory section, as well as the bank section. So it tells us uh, something about the memory as it's being populated in the physical server. And now to conclude the guided exercise, you're supposed to run the cleanup script. So log out from server A, come back to the workstation, and the command is lob viewing physical finish. Once you run it, it will clean up the system and prepare us to continue to the next chapter. Let's see each other in the next video.